It is my privilege to present the following program that was inspired by the way American businesses and organizations have responded to the events of September 11th. It's part of a special series produced by Heartbeat of America called Keeping America Strong. Each program spotlights a business or organization that is helping to do exactly that, keep America strong. Having served in the United States Navy for many years, I fully appreciate the important role small and middle-sized businesses play in the very fabric of our country, and I salute the professionals who lead these companies and thus keep America strong. They are the very backbone of our free enterprise system, and today on this program, you will meet the individuals behind one such organization. I'll be back later in the program to introduce the Keeping America Strong Award. And now, let's learn more about the organization we are honoring today. Today, the eyes and ears of the 21st century are focused on new developments, new technologies, new emerging companies. We're on the scene to bring it to you as it happens. We anchor from our new studios in Los Angeles and then go out all over America to get to the heart of the story. I'm Bert Tenzer. I'm Bella Shaw. I'm Doug Llewellyn. I'm William Shatner, and this is Heartbeat of America. Our show focuses on corporate America, its stories, its drama, its breakthroughs. We'll be going out today to report on an organization that is impacting our lives and shaping our future, an organization that truly is the heartbeat of America. In the 20th century, a group of future Americans led by William Shatner ventured out into the universe. The challenge? To take the American spirit and courage to the final frontier of man, outer space. It was an exciting time on television, but it was only a fantasy. Meanwhile, here on the planet Earth in the 21st century, a new challenge has emerged. And this one's for real. It's the challenge to unite America and to keep our economy and our country moving forward. This has inspired Heartbeat of America to launch a special series entitled Keeping America Strong. William Shatner and retired Rear Admiral Kevin Delaney have set the stage for our next Keeping America Strong edition. It features one of the emerging companies that are moving forward in these times with real dedication and know-how, and in so doing is certainly helping to keep America strong. Their specialty is roofing corporate America, and they service companies by keeping them dry and effective in whatever business they are in. The name of this company is Spray Foam Southwest Inc., headquartered in Phoenix, Arizona. And with us today, on my left, the president of the company, Rick Radobenko, and on his left is the vice president of the company, Robert Timmons. Rick, first let me ask you, what are the main problems with the roofs of corporate America? Uh, the roofs of corporate America leak, and they leak uh, from the rain, and they leak energy, uh, and consequently, they disrupt the facility, they damage merchandise, and cause problems of safety to the employees. So how do you help solve this problem? Uh, typically, when a customer comes to us with a problem, we'll do a physical inspection of their plant or property. Then we determine where their problems are and give them a written assessment of what corrective actions to take. In effect, you are there to re-roof these leaky roofs or whatever the problem is. But exactly what do you do? What do you do with? We use a product, okay, and it's called Seamless Insulated Roofing. And this is a multi-phase product, okay, that insulates, seals your roof all in one simple step. Now we have a sample of it sitting right here. If the camera can catch a picture of this, you're going to see what this looks like. We are looking really at, at a series of uh, segments of the roof as it goes on, but if you look at the side of it, and let me turn this to the side, this is the, the, the foam that goes on the roof first. Is that right? You can That's see correct. on the monitor if you can look over there, this portion. Yes, sir. How is this applied? It's spray applied. Okay. And then once this goes on, then what happens? Then basically we seal the insulation layer, which is here, with multiple coats of protective coating, which, prov um, which protects the insulation layer and protects the building from any water leakage. What are the really huge benefits of re-roofing with this kind of material or doing it on an original building? The huge benefits are, number one, the building doesn't leak. Number two, it very, it's very energy efficient. It when stops the building. I'm sorry. No, when okay. you say it doesn't leak, how can you be assured that it won't leak? It's one piece. It's spray applied. 
and becomes a one-piece roof on the entire facility. It fills all the gaps and everything on the roof, so, so preventing water from getting in. And then the energy efficiency factor, how, how effective is it from that point of view? It's the best insulation money can buy. How, technically, I mean, you can, it can be very cost effective. It is one of the few products you can put on your building that will pay for itself. Over how much period of time? Over a five to seven year period. Absolutely, pay for itself in energy savings. Yes, sir. That's remarkable, no question about it. Talk to me a little bit about the kinds of companies and, and structures and buildings you've done this for because it's, it's pretty impressive. Right? Well, we range from uh, typical small office buildings up through medical facilities, schools, uh, large hotel complexes, casinos. Uh, we run the full gamut from new construction to existing structures. And what about the, the companies themselves? Oh, large companies, General Motors, Ford, uh, Mattel Toys, Coca-Cola, um, the U.S. Navy, uh, Department of Interior. So there is a, a multitude of people from state governments all the way through the Fortune 500 companies of America. And the other key question here is how long is a roof like this good for? How long will it last? So we really don't know. We have roofs that have been in place for over 25 years and they're still working tremendously. It's, a, it's an amazing story and obviously a very effective product. No kidding. Thank you. We have been watching the operations of an organization which is doing its part to keep America strong, and we've been learning from its leaders about what they're doing to help move our country forward. This organization represents companies across our great nation that embody the spirit, dedication, know-how, and can-do attitude which has made America the great nation it is today. And now let's present the Keeping America Strong now, Award. Now it is with great pleasure I present the Keeping America Strong Award to Rick Radobenko, the president of Spray Foam Southwest Inc. of Phoenix, Arizona, for all the work they are doing in serving corporate America by keeping them high and dry with good roofing. Rick, congratulations and continued good luck. Doug, thank you very much. And on behalf of all of the employees of Spray Foam Southwest, past, present, the founders, uh, a great team we have there, and we appreciate all their fine work to keep America dry. Thank you so much. Thank you. Congratulations for earning the Keeping America Strong Award, which honors innovators and leaders like you who are the heartbeat of America. Our thanks to retired Rear Admiral Kevin Delaney for taking part in the presentation of the Keeping America Strong Award, the award that salutes small to middle-sized organizations who are helping to move America forward. That's it for Heartbeat of America's special edition, Keeping America Strong. Now for a final word from William Shatner. Well, that's it for this edition of Heartbeat of America. I'm William Shatner. Thanks for watching.